Once it was known that Amir was injured, there was a lot of talk about uh, a pacer being replaced, by, you know, by a spinner. And then, of course, you know, we have Shadab Khan, we have Imad Wasim, Fakhar Zaman, Hassan Ali, uh, Fahim Ashraf. The the list is endless. What do you think about this new talent? Who's the player that has stood out for you? Ah, uh, Fakhar at the top of the order is uh, is exactly what you need. You know, Pakistan lost that first game of the tournament to India heavily, and they lost it in a way that I think you know there'll be no Pakistan fan honestly thought that they would get to the final having seen the way that they played against India I didn't think they would but with Pakistan you get unpredictability you know you get um, a team that as, as soon as they find a little bit of form they found form against South Africa uh, they just ride with it you know they just know how to ride with the situation and then they bowl uh, New Z um, Sri Lanka out uh, and then they bowl England out and it's the bowling that has, has really captured uh, the, the spirit of the Pakistan team, brilliantly led by Safraz, I must admit his uh, tactics have been spot on. Uh, winning the toss on a used pitch yesterday in bowling surprised most, but he knew what he was up to. He knew what he had in terms of his bowling attack. And, you know, I, I always find with Pakistan that uh, they're always worth watching. You know, they're always worth spending a few hours watching them play because you're never quite sure what Pakistan are going to do, whether it's with the bat, whether it's in the field, whether it's with the ball in hand. But what we've seen over the last three games in the particular is a bowling unit that knows exactly what they're doing in this 50 over format. When it's dry, they get the spinners on early, they rough at one side and get reverse swing and really threaten the opposition with that attacking motion from around the 30th over and it's, uh, it's worked very well for them.